So my dude's Val here, and today I'm going to be talking about Daya. I'm going to go over my Daya. I, I've tried a couple different builds. I kind of settled on this, and I'll go into why for it in a bit. But you can see substats are terrible. Weapon is an R5 sack greatsword. And I got her uh, 2, 6, and 9 at C0. I'm going to be showcasing her damage. I did run her damage. I did build her emblem like I thought, but I also ran her Millilith uh, to kind of proc this as well. So she is actually in my opinion not that bad um i think a lot of people have greatly exaggerated over exaggerated her her damage i've gotten a burst damage up to 300k i'll explain how i did that in a bit and i think she's more so meant to be basically played around this skill i think this skill is kind of everything with her um i think the damage mitigation is actually really damn good it's actually really nice taking 50 percent less damage uh, it's not as good as a shielder, but if you don't have Zhongli, she could actually be a certifiable option for you to use. You could definitely end up using her if you don't have access to Zhongli, so this is definitely a character that's something that's looking like an alternative. I have beaten Floor 12 Abyss with her as both the primary damage option and her working as a Suedo shielder, and I have to say, primary damage, not exactly the best option because she primarily revolves solely around her burst so not really the best option in that regard but um her working as a suedo shielder is actually kind of nice now the only downside to her being a suedo shielder is the fact that you have to run her with a healer but fortunately there's a pyro healer that everybody loves that is also really 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 good at the exact same time so you can get Pyro Resonance pretty easily like that. But once again, if you don't have Zhongli, if you don't have Diona, or you don't want to use Diona, you don't want to use Zhongli, she could be an option to look at. Um, and I do believe people have greatly exaggerated how terrible she is. So now I'm going to swap her over to the damage build. I'm going to do it piece by piece. I'm going to do it live so you guys can see exactly what I'm rocking with. Um, I have to remember all the pieces I had on her because I had Emblem. So I have to go piece by piece and add them all and get her back to where she was, which I believe I had this. I know I had this because Yao Yao definitely isn't rocking a Pyro Goblet. I had this and then as for the last piece, I had one of these, this one for sure. So Emblem of Severed Fate here. This is a five piece Emblem of Severed Fate. I don't think I need that many pieces. So we're going to swap out for this i believe i had and this puts us at 50 yep this is what i had before 55 236 1700 attack with the red horn stone thresher i do want a little bit more attack so i'm going to look to see if i can make some any make any more adjustments somewhere yeah i think this is going to be about as good as i can get it uh unless there's one with a little bit more attack somewhere around here no so this is going to be about as good as I can get it for right now. 1700 attack. It'll be a little bit higher with Pyro Resonance. But now I want to show you the team. And this is the team that's going to go into Elemental Burst Damage. Which is really our only focus with this team. And the setup is Elemental Burst Damage. So we can actually use her Elemental Burst to do good damage. Hopefully. So we're going to get everybody's ult charge. And then we're going to... I want to show you guys the amount of damage that she can actually do inside of her burst. So you guys can be the judge for yourselves. This is a pretty stacked out burst damage team because it's meant just the full send the burst. Um, but I do think she works more similarly to Albedo and not even for damage, just for the suede of shielding because she gives you interruption resistance and a good amount of it and a damage mitigation. It's both are really, really good things to actually have in my opinion. So we are going to go ahead, build up everyone's burst real quick, get all these bursty worsties up. This is all we need. We just need Bennett. We don't need Ryan's Burst. Ryan's not killing anything, so we're just going to go ahead and teleport out. And now we get to showcase what her Burst can do. This is going to be a very, very amped up Burst. I have her sent up all the way. If it crits, if anything, I could pop food just to kind of like try and uh, send it a little bit more. Let's go ahead and let's do crit rate. Let's run. Do I even have pyro oil? I don't. So we're going to ignore that and act like that. We'll just do it crit rate. Screw it. So you guys can see what she does crit wise. So she's going to be at like, what, 75% crit rate or something like that? So the goal is, and what we're going to do, we're going to pop down Day's Field. We're going to pop down Bennett's Field. We're going to swirl. We're going to pop right in skill. Then we're going to go back to Daya ult and try to capitalize on everything. 
Is that Pyro? I think it is. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I'm not going to do the RNG. So we'll get a little bit less than 30k because he's going to have good uh, resistance to Pyro. So he's going to be highly resistant to Pyro. So that part kind of blows. But here we're going to do this. We're going to burst. We're going to pop this. Then we're going to pop this. And you guys can see. 27k against the Pyro Primo Bishop. Whereas normally we would be doing 30k. As 40k on the final hit. So you can see about how much damage he can do. It's not terrible. It's not. It's really not. It's genuinely pretty okay damage. I think it, like that right there is like a 270k because she does 10 hits. Uh, so that right there was around 270k. And whenever it's not the prior one, I can do about 30k a hit. So I can get about 300k per burst, which I think is okay. I think don't think it's anything crazy. I think it's just an okay number. And I think it's fine. But I don't think, once again, I don't think that's where you're going to want to use her at. I think she is primarily going to be used for her skill. For the damage mitigation and the interruption resistance, it's actually genuinely convenient to have. I just wish it had some more uptime. And you know how you can fix uptime? Very simple. The Sacrificial Greatsword. This will fix all your uptime issues as long as it procs. <laughs> But I do think she's actually a lot better than what people think. I just don't really care about her damage too much after testing her damage-wise. I think 300k is fine. But for the amount of investment that this team is giving it and how much is being fed into her burst to only do 300k is kind of whatever. Um, but I do think her skill genuinely is pretty handy. I do actually genuinely enjoy her skill. Her survivability is nuts. She doesn't die. Um, she really doesn't. You're going to have more issues healing your on-field units than you will your off-field. But if you run her with Yao Yao, Yao Yao complements her perfectly. Because Yao Yao is able to heal off-field as well as on-field pretty easily. She's a pretty damn good healer. So you're going to want to put a healer with Deya if you're going to run Deya's Suedo Shield. Which is what I think she's best at. And you can get her upwards to 50k HP as I showed at the beginning of the video. Anyways, that's what I think of Deya after pulling her. Uh, do I regret pulling Deya? No. I'm actually genuinely going to use her as a as a uh, suedo shield and all future abyss runs to just kind of sit there and be my not the zhong li because i am what is called a rarity whore and i want to use five stars in the abyss and if we count her as a shielder i'm going to say she's the second best pi or the second best five star shielder in the game because there's only zhong li so uh <laughs> Anyways, that's what I think. I don't think she's... I think it's greatly over-exaggerated how terrible she is. I don't think she's that bad. I think people just need to use her as a shielder. Or not a shielder, but like a damage mitigator. Use her basically purely for the skill. And not try to make her do damage unless you want to go for constellations. Which I think maybe then she can do damage. But even then, I don't think it's going to be anything crazy. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. If you guys got Daya, let me know how you guys are feeling about her. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.